Hello everyone, Merry Christmas, uh, very happy to be here, um, finally with the Energy WebEx Marketplace up and running. Uh, I just wanted to take a bit of quick time um, to cover some of the pain points that I've seen uh, many people experience in the community. Uh, I'm going to talk fairly quickly just to cover the points, you can stop the video at any point um, to make sure you digest what it is I'm saying or any of the details that are necessary, but uh, anything that I don't cover, uh, you can always go into the discords and telegrams, as you already probably know, make sure they are the official ones. Um, so with that being said, uh, let's just dive straight into it. Effectively, who is this video for? Uh, I'm the marketplace right now. If anyone can download it uh, and you can connect to the marketplace. Uh, in preparation effectively for the work announced that have been initially announced as the Galaxy subscription launch, which uh, currently I believe the team is still looking for Q1. A quick disclaimer, by the way, um, I uh, do not work for the Energy Web Foundation or anything, it's just me uh, doing it to help some of the people in the community. Um, a further disclaimer, I hope it's not laggy and you can see everything, but I'm running this on the laptop that I have on this holiday setup, uh, so it's it's being a bit funny trying to run the node uh, as well as this, but I hope everything comes out smooth. So, um, even though it is for everyone, you can't really take advantage of the marketplace right now unless really you want to be running the beta work node, uh, which for that you need to uh, whitelist on the Energy Web Discord server. I believe there still should be places uh available so go there and ask the admins and there's a there's effectively a sub site tab that you can do that um, yourself it effectively entails you um posting your sub wallet address which is going to be one of the steps that we cover here and uh, another thing you can do and the reason i believe the majority of people that will be um, downloading the marketplace for is to lift some energy web tokens into the new chain effectively the substrate chain in order to get the snapshot for the digital spy network i do not know exactly how this works in terms of exactly when the snapshot works i believe the communication for me was extremely clear uh, if the snapshot is after the 15th or if it's before the 15th they say do it by then uh, but they also say that the snapshot will be done at the beginning of the year. Um, however, my advice to you guys is um, lift them as soon as you can, and that way you're, you're covered either way. So uh, some of the process, uh, the, you know, the steps that you need to make sure you have down uh, is that you do have your sub wallet or a wallet that's uh, available uh, to be linked. Uh, make sure you have both your substrate and your EVM wallets uh, linked to that so you are good to go. Then we'll go through the step of uh, connecting to the marketplace, then how we lift the tokens. Uh, and ultimately how we run a token and most of the things I'm going to be focusing on is the common issues and questions that I'm seeing come up by the community. So in preparing the wallet, it's been written a lot uh, and it's not the fact that the marketplace doesn't support MetaMask, it's the fact that MetaMask doesn't support the newest version effectively. So you need to find another provider such as the sub wallet um, within that uh, you can actually input your metamask not needing to create a new evm address and that's one of the things that i'll also address here uh, connecting to the marketplace there's some issues with people finding the right uh, rpc network um, again some little things maybe you're running it in uh, with a vpn or not in your experimental mode or not maybe finding the the pop-up notification uh, to approve you the transaction uh, lifting the tokens again maybe it's just the, i'm just going to cover a little bit what lifting and lowering actually means in the most layman terms that i can uh, which is the whole point of the video, uh, connecting your EVM address and the fact that you may not see your uh, EWT 
tokens immediately as it does take some time to bridge. Uh, and lastly, to run the node, uh, what's kind of your options uh, right now and what are the requirements? So with that being said, diving straight into the preparation of the wallet, uh, like we said, you cannot link directly to MetaMask. However, you can use your MetaMask um, via the sub wallet. Assuming you were already running a uh, staking of uh, energy web token before on the green pools and other ones before that, then you already have that. Um, if you do not have a substrate wallet or um, EVM wallet, you can um, simply create them within the sub wallet app. Assuming the majority of people here already have them, uh, you can import your accounts. Uh, I personally imported my previous uh, Substrate wallet that I had using the, the JSON file by clicking here, super easy, and it came up straight away. And exactly the same way I did with my MetaMask private key to the point where I could see uh, both the accounts effectively uh, as so here. So, Understanding uh, the difference, effectively, we're talking about uh, Substrate me being your address on the Polkadot chain, which is where the Energy Web X lives, uh, and um, EVM, we're talking about your address on the Ethereum ecosystem. That's, like I said, where you probably used to stake on the green pool, and that address tends to start with a zero, zero X, I believe, for most, and the Polkadot uh, address substrate address starts with a five so make sure before anything that you have this step down and that your wallet is ready another thing i would say is make sure that you do it for the time being on your phone you can do it on the desktop as well but there are some bugs along the way the phone is the path of least resistance currently so connecting to uh, EWX, firstly, of course, you need to follow the official link and download it from the site. That's fairly straightforward, install it. Um, and once you go to connect, uh, the first common error that I see everyone get is that they do not um, register. It comes up with a connection issue, and that's because you are not connected to the right network, RPC network. Now you can search and try and find, there's a whole bunch, not a whole bunch, there's like two, three, four different networks under Energy Web that confused me initially. You can activate them all and maybe it still doesn't work. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, you will need to import the network uh, using the URL. Again, you can, you can copy the one that I have here, but you can uh, go on the official telegrams and discords and get that from anywhere. Uh, admins have those pinned. So you copy that URL, you import a network. As soon as you do that, you give it a few seconds and it will fill out all the um, tabs effectively below that with the required. Once you do that, uh, then you can go back into the app and try reconnecting. And that for the majority of people has worked. Um, once you are connected, make sure you are in experimental mode because that will help with lifting the tokens. And once you go into lifting the tokens, uh, effectively uh, under your wallet uh, tab, you can see the lifting, lowering uh, options. Uh, lowering is currently unavailable, but what does that mean? Again, very quickly, uh, lifting tokens means taking your tokens from the um, EVM to substrate, meaning from your energy web chain on the Ethereum uh, infrastructure into the new EVX, sorry, energy WebX uh, side uh, on the Polkadot substrate, which is where this uh, worker nodes are being deployed. Lowering is the, the opposite. So taking those tokens, lowering them uh, to have them accessible back on the EVM side. However, uh, that's not currently available, and that's part of the thing that I believe we're working on the audit for. Um, lifting, effectively, once you are connected with the previous steps, um, you click on here, you connect, and now it's going to ask you to connect using your EVM address. So when you connect to the marketplace, because the marketplace is on the 
substrate network, and that's kind of where it's running on. Uh, to lift them, you need to connect back to your Ethereum wallet, and this is why uh, we linked both your MetaMask uh, and Substrate addresses. Once that's done, then you will be able to see uh, a, a pop-up come up. Uh, for many people, the pop-up doesn't actually pop out, so make sure you go back to your browser um, and uh, see the notification, and it should have a little pop-up that you need to approve. Um, if that doesn't come up, uh, this is where using the phone actually has solved the problems for most people. So use your phone and scan um, the QR code that comes up with your phone, and that should be uh, solving the problem because um, it will process through and show the pop-up. I believe the sub wallet team is already aware of this. Um, I can actually see what's written behind here because of my, my face in the way, but effectively the last steps are to uh, choose how much you want um, and then approve the transaction. And once that's done, uh, you need to wait. The, don't panic. A uh, few people, uh, I believe all of us in the beginning, didn't see our energy web tokens immediately uh, showing in the app. And that's because the lifting process is taking some time. They do say it can be as little as 30 minutes. However, I believe in the beginning, all of us have been lifting them. So that's slowing it down. Wait an hour or two, uh, and that should um, show up. Again, the tips here are use the subwallet on mobile, like I said, for the reasons uh, I just mentioned. Uh, and ensure both your substrate and EVM wallets are also um, linked on your phone app as well. Uh, it's easy to miss, uh, but if you've already done it on the desktop and you want to, and it's bugging out for the approvals um, on your phone, you need to make sure both of those wallets are present. So running the worker node, we've effectively done most of the stuff, and this is all really smooth. Uh, you go into the smart flow, uh, which is the, the, the beta worker node that's currently available. And again, you have to be whitelisted to do that. Uh, after you click on that, effectively, you have two options. And you can click a dashboard. Um, I don't have the notification because I've already done it, but I've seen it from other people. And that effectively allows you simply to stake uh, your tokens, which means the benefits of that is that you don't need to have a laptop running ongoingly. You don't need to uh, effectively have that also running 24-7, which is the, the main, let's say, negative thing of running the worker node fully. Once you click through to that, you download a thing, um, an application, and within the dashboard tab uh, of the marketplace, you're going to be able to see immediately the worker node of which you then commit your tokens. I believe for the speed uh, somewhere between it's between 250 and a thousand tokens you can commit to that. So that's it. I hope it helps. Um, if you're still having difficulties, I kind of this kind of like a bit of an official message, but you know the the energy web team has the ability to raise support tickets in Discord and everyone in the community and the admins are available on Telegram to help you. There are another few a couple of points that effectively can affect your experience. I know it varies a lot if you're on Mac or Windows. Uh, there was a bug yesterday with the Windows application. Um, so if it's still bugging out, completely uninstall the marketplace, download the newest version from the site directly, uh, and that should make everything smooth from there onwards. So that's all, guys. Merry Christmas. I hope everyone uh, has a great time. and. Uh, like I said in one of my posts, we're all ready to change the world one vote at a time. So have a good one and see you all next year.